Hey guys, Redash here. Today, I bring you the three dysfunctional members of Kazuma Guild. The useless goddess Aqua, the arch wizard of the Crimson Demon Clan, Migumin, and last, the crusader who's a masticus pervert, Darkness. From the light novel, manga, and anime series, Kanosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. All right, quick summary about the series. For those who don't know anything about it, Kazuma is a Shadani. He gets isekai. He takes Aqua with him. They need money. They form a guild. Later, Megumin joins. She likes explosions. Next, Darkness joins. No, not that Darkness. The perverted one. They all go on adventures together and make every situation worse. This series has comedy, fantasy, and a little bit of fan service. Yeah, <laughs> boy. I totally recommend this series. Go read or watch it. All right, back to the figures. All three figures are distributed by Good Smile Company from the Papa Parade series and are manufactured by Max Factory. The first figure we have here is Aqua. A closer look at the box. I admire the design of the box. It fully shows the figure you're buying. Also, I noticed that most Papa Parade boxes correspond with the color of the character design. For example, Aqua Box has blue, light blue, and yellow, the same colors we see on Aqua. I got this figure for 39,000 yens, which is around 34 USD, plus tax, which isn't a bad price. This figure is sculpted by Riku Matsumoto Fizz, who also sculpted other Papa Parade figures like Migi Meme, Shoto Todoroki, and Bakugo. This figure was released in December 2020, the last month of that chaotic, horrible, dreadful year. Alright, it's time to get Aqua out of her box. In order to remove the plastic on Aqua, removing the head from the body is required. Right out of the box, it comes with two pieces, the figure itself and the stand for the figure. The stand or base is shaped in a hexagon that is about 12 centimeter or 4.75 inches wide and it's in a transparent blue color there is peg holes on the stand to lock in with the figure which connects to her left boot what i like about this figure is that they made her foot peg support transparent so it isn't that noticeable unlike the sega jaya aqua figure her foot pegs are white and obvious at least they didn't make her foot peg support match with the color of the base like the scrum figure. Now, looking at the boots and thigh high socks, the paint job is clean and simple. No paint defect, no paint bleeding, and. Damn, boy, he fit! Boy! Look at those thigh lines! <laughs> Only the cultured ones will understand, am I right, lads? Just like in the anime, they capture Aqua Transparent Skirt, which exposes her butt just like in many scenes. And if you're wondering if she's wearing any underwear, the answer is yes. yes, 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 yes. But I'm not a degenerate who would show it. <laughs> nice. Moving along to her outfit, it seems to be very accurate to the anime and well painted. Same goes to her cheerful face. As you can see, the sculptor created this pose from the official art 
from the Kanasuba anime, and it's spot on identical from the pose. And one thing I did notice about this pose is that her armpit are exposed and wait, wait, you know what? Let's just not talk about that. Her hair color is an aqua blue and her hair tie is in a glossy paint. Fun facts, did you know that aqua's hair tie resembles to a water molecule? Another detail I did notice about this aqua figure is that all the aqua figure I have all have different shade of blue for their hair color. Here are the comparisons. The Popo Parade Aqua, like I said, is in a aqua blue. The Max Factory Figma Swimsuit Aqua is in Azure blue. And the Sega Jaha Aqua is a baby blue with a touch of shading add to it. Finally, this figure with the base attached is 21 centimeter tall and here are some size comparisons the sega jaha aqua figure max factory figma aqua swimsuit version pop up parade shiro a satanichiya nandoroid overall i give this aqua figure a thumbs up up next we have the powerful chaotic and best girl in kanasuba according to the internet megumi Megumin box is much wider than the other two due to the fact she comes with accessories. Just like Aqua, this figure was 39,000 yen. Sculpted by Riku Matsumoto and released in December 2020. Unboxing. She comes with an instruction guide showing how to attach the accessories to the figure. She also comes with a base, staff, and her hat. Moving on to the accessories, the base is about 4.5 inches wide, red and transparent. Getting a better view of the staff, the staff is brown with yellow stripes at the top section and wrapped with cloth in the middle section. There is a clear plastic piece holding the sphere which is painted in a red gloss giving the illusion that it's floating. The staff is measured at 8.5 inches tall. The hat is a dark chocolate color with a yellow ring around it and a yellow tail at the end of the tip. Also, two red buttons with a triangle pattern that wraps around. On the other side, it's the same color with grooves that align with her hair so it gets a sturdy grip and prevents it from falling off her head. The diameter of the hat is 2.5 inches and it's about 1 inch tall. That's weird. I feel like there's something missing. Oh yeah, her furry little companion. Usually, Megumin figures come with their own. Just like the Max Factory Figma Megumin, Belfine Megumin, Android, and many more. Moving along, both pegs are located under her right boot. Her left leg has a left high thigh sock and her right leg is wrapped in cloth. And, oh boy, more thigh lines. Woo! Now to the cape. The same color as the hat, with a yellow outer line that runs along on both sides of the cape. I'm not sure if they did it on purpose, but the color of her outfit is a crimson red. Similar to the name of her village and clan, the Crimson Demons. 
Her outfit also consists of yellow outlines at the end of the sleeves and at the upper part of her outfit, as well as a triangle pattern at the bottom. She has a belt that fully wraps around her waist, and they didn't forget her choker. It pains me to say this, but one minor detail I don't like about this figure is that there's a fat line crease around the elbows. Not even the Papa Parade Aqua or the Sega Jaya Mega Meme have this issue. Maybe they did this to help support the weight of the staff, but it's on both elbow. So I'm unsure why they did this. For those degenerate weebs out there, here's a quick view from under, and yes, just like the anime, they're black. Moving on to the head, she has small faded blushes on her cheeks, and her face is very accurate to the anime. And her hair's a dark brown with a smooth surface on the top so the hat can go on. I don't know about you guys, but add any witch hat to any anime character and it just makes them 10 times cuter. With the base included, she's 8 inches tall. And without the hat, she's about 7 inch tall. Here are some size comparisons. The Sega Jaya Megumin figure, another Sega Jaya Megumin dancer version, a Papa Parade Shiro, a Santanichia Nendoroid, and last, a Max Factory Figma Aqua. Finally, we have the tall, blonde, gorgeous, and painfully thick <laughs> Darkness, aka Dustiness for La Latina. Knowing Darkness to be the tallest out of the three, of course she has the tallest box. Just like the other two, she also costs 3,900 yen. However, she is sculpted by Kazunori Haiguchi, who also sculpted other Papa Parade figures like Toga, Ochako Yuraka, and Midoriya. For some reason, Darkness was released in June 2021, six months apart from Aqua and Megumi. Unboxing. Similar to Aqua's box, it only comes with the base and the figure itself. The base is yellow, transparent, and it measures up to 4.5 inches wide. Her pegs are located under her left foot. However, there's a clear peg support that makes her look like she's in midair. I believe the sculptor captured her pose at the moment she get hit by cabbages and then witness one of Megumi explosions or the scene right after she loses a fight to a giant mech. Now comparing this to the Sega Jaya Darkness and this image, one major feature Darkness is missing is her armor. She's missing her side hip armor, belt, the strip of cloth that runs down the middle, both shoulder armor and her chest armor. The only piece of armor she still have are the ones on her legs, which are coated in a metallic paint to seem like metal. And talking about her legs, she's wearing black leggings. The dress is a golden yellow. The rest of her outfit is black, with battle damages on the sleeves exposing her skin. She also has a orange wrist guard, a red ribbon, and Look at those. Moving on to her face, she has an embarrassed face expression with a more noticeable cheek blush than the others. And 
Her hair is a lemon yellow color with orange dip dye at the end of the ponytail and side bangs with red hair clips. Overall, I really admire this figure, not just because of the boobs, I mean Naruto. It's because her pose tells a story. Why is she embarrassed? What happened to her armor or outfit? Why is she in midair? With the base included, she's about 8.5 inches tall. And for size comparison, Sega Jaya Darkness, Max Factory Figma Aqua, yeah. Papa Parade Shiro, and a Satanichia Nendoroid. Now, with all three together, how could you not resist? not buying all three. Don't spam any death threats in the comments, but out of the three figures, Darkness is my favorite. Thanks to the shape of the base, which are hexagon, you can evenly display, in your opinion, best waifu in the front, leaving no awkward gaps or spacing when displaying them. The best part about these Popo Parade figures are, they don't have to be from the same series because most of them have the same size and shape base. Therefore, you can display as many as you want and optimize space saving so that you can add more to your collection. One last bonus about these Popo Parade figures are the boxes. Unfortunately, I don't have a glass case to protect my figures from dust. But thanks to the clear packaging they came in, you can display them in their own boxes with or without the background cardboard, without blocking the view of the figures. However, if you don't want to display them in their boxes, but you still want to protect them from dust, you can just put them in a large jar. Anyways, here are some close-ups of the figures. Overall, I think these figures are great. For the amount of details they have and the reasonable price they're at, it's an offer I couldn't pass. I recommend buying these figures if you're a Konosuba fan or one of these characters is your waifu. I had a great time making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, see ya!